Once upon a time, in a magical forest where the trees whispered secrets and the streams sparkled like diamonds, there lived a tiny, winged inventor named Tinkerbell. Unlike the other fairies who spent their time flitting about, casting spells, or tending to the flowers, Bill had a different passion machines. His love for gadgets and contraptions often set him apart from the others, but he didn't mind. He had a small workshop nestled at the base of an old oak tree, filled with gears, springs, and all manner of curious tools. Tinker Bill wasn't like his distant cousin Tinker Bell, who was known for her magic dust and fairy adventures. Bill's magic lay in his ability to build things, to bring life to the inanimate. With his tinkering, he could make tiny machines fly like birds, clocks chime with melodies, and even the tiniest speck of dust transform into something useful. One day, while scouring the forest for new parts, Bill stumbled upon a peculiar object hidden beneath a bed of moss. It was a small, glowing stone unlike anything he had ever seen before. As he held it in his hands, the stone pulsed with energy, sending a warm, buzzing sensation up his arms. It was alive with magic, but different from the kind his fellow fairies used. Bill's curious mind raced with possibilities. He brought the stone back to his workshop, carefully placing it in the center of his workbench. He spent days trying to unlock its mysteries, working tirelessly until, at last, an idea struck him. Using the stone as a power source, Bill constructed a mechanical bird, a beautiful creature of brass and feathers that shimmered in the light. With the stone embedded in its chest, the bird came to life, fluttering its wings and chirping softly. The bird, whom Bill affectionately named Glimmer, became his companion, helping him in his workshop and guiding him on his many adventures. Word of Tinker Bill's creation spread through the fairy kingdom, and soon, fairies from all over came to visit his workshop to marvel at his inventions. But not all was peaceful. Deep in the forest, a dark presence stirred. An old, greedy sorcerer named Malgrim had heard of the glowing stone and its power. He sought it for himself, believing it could make him the most powerful being in the land. Malgrim, with his army of shadowy creatures, plotted to steal the stone from Bill and use it for his own wicked purposes. One stormy night, Malgrim attacked. The sky darkened, and shadows slithered through the trees, surrounding Bill's workshop. Glimmer chirped in warning, and Bill, though small, was brave. He wasn't a fighter, but he had something even more powerful, his creativity. Thinking quickly, Bill used his inventions to defend his home. He unleashed an army of mechanical beetles that swarmed the shadows.